Hey folks, Ashley at AllThingsIndustry.com and I just learned another little trick to anterior aesthetics. We're doing the anterior crowns for 8 and 9, uh, 1 1 and 2 1. And to take some photos, and now I'm reevaluating because I want to re mill them and get just a little, you know, I'm in a residency, I might as well spend the time. So use a black background. There's a whole probably 3 trillion different techniques, different styles you can make your own. That's what I was about to do. Um, but we found this. Uh, paddle, and there's a whole variation on them, and the reason why is it allows you to really focus in on those anterior aesthetics. So, here's a couple of photos so you can see the paddle uh, being used. And then, if I get it, if I zoom in here, let's turn that off, let's change photos. There we go. I can zoom in so you can see how it really isolates those teeth and allows me to. Uh, change the contours, so I'm happy with. I'm essentially happy. I'm not happy with the shade of this tooth, the chroma. We might need a. She's got a. Looks like a light tetracycline staining from years past. I whittled off too much of the incisal edge and the distal buckle. Excuse me, distal link, uh, distal incisal. So we're going to lengthen this. So just another uh, little technique to help you in uh, working with aesthetics. Cheers.